Okay, g'day again everyone. In this simple and quick lesson, I'm going to show you how to create a silhouette from an object in Adobe Photoshop. So I've grabbed this image of these two surfboards here and I want to create a silhouette from, but I only want to use one. So what I'll do is, um, I'll use the crop tool, which is just here, I'll click that and I'll just drag the sides in like that and then I'll just double click in the middle or press enter to select, set the crop. Uh, now, just make sure your background layer is unlocked, and what we're going to do is get the magic wand tool, alright, because the background is completely white, there's no tones, the magic wand tool will just, if you click once there, it'll just make a really nice selection, and then just press delete on your keyboard, and that'll remove the background. Now let's deselect by the selection by holding command and D. Alright, now we're ready to go. Um, I'll just add another, no I won't do that yet. Okay, now to turn this surfboard shape, our uh, surfboard into a silhouette, what we want to do is we want to go up to Image and then choose Adjustments and choose Levels. That'll bring up this dialog box here. And what you're going to do is you're going to adjust the sliders and that will just take all of the colour out and leave us with a black image. So um, you want to grab the mid-tone slider and drag it all the way across as far as it can go and then grab the black slider all the way across here, okay, and you'll notice this, it's not quite black yet, so what you'll do is, you'll at the, in the output level sliders, you'll grab the white one and drag it all the way to the end there, and now we've got this perfect black silhouette. Um, now, I'll just add another layer underneath just so that it looks a bit better of what I'm going to show you next, just fill it with a colour change the order. Um, now if you want to drop the opacity you can always choose the layer, go into your opacity and drop the opacity just like that. You can also command T, free transform, alright, do what you need to it, rotate it. Okay, so that's that. Now I'll show you how to do it with say you might have like a cityscape or something like that. So if you've got an image like this and you may maybe you just want the the shapes of the city which could look kind of cool. Um, first of all unlock the background layer, grab your magic wand tool and let's start selecting up here. Now because this isn't flat color you'll notice that the wand's not selecting everything so hold shift and let's kind of get around here and just click around around the sky. You'll notice there's a little bit missing there, we'll tidy that up in a tick. Um, Alright, and that's about as far as I'm going to, I might do a little bit down here, that's about as far as I'll go with it. Alright, then swap to your quick selection tool and use the bracket keys, the right bracket key to make your size bigger and I'm just going to tidy these areas up. Now I'm not going to do a perfect job because I'm in a hurry but you guys can put as much time and detail into doing something like this as you want. Um, now I've looked, there's a little bit there, missing the corner of the building so I'm going to hold option, turn it to a minus you would notice and then add to that selection there. Oh there's missing a little bit here too. Alright, I'm not going to get too carried away. Now if I zoom back out, what I'll do is, it's a bit messy down there but that's okay, I'm just going to press delete. Alright, and I'm going to hold command and press D to deselect my selection and it's just going to be the same thing now. Let's go into layer, I'm sorry, image, let's go to adjustments, levels and bring the mid-tone slider all the way down, bring the black slider all the way down and bring the output level white slider all the way up and there we have it. There's our silhouette. Uh, it's a bit rough around the edges but that's okay. Um, if you want to add it to another document just click, hold and drag don't then let go of the button when you move down here and um, you could use it as kind of a nice background you could use your free transform tools to bigger make it bigger or smaller all right um, you can also play around with the opacity to see what might suit okay so there it is that's how you create a simple silhouette in Adobe Photoshop thank you